I absolutely cannot believe what I have just seen. So despite all the huge amount of hype, rumours about the Xeno Mini Pro from Hubsan, but then the inevitable not delivering the product to you guys of you know all these people that have been super super excited to get this new Hubsan drone which potentially could rival something like the DJI Mini 2 based on its specification anyway and its features with its obstacle avoidance and active tracks and bits and pieces Hubsan go absolutely smash it out the park and straight away copy DJI's sort of tactic of a sort of slimmed down version and before the Hubzan Xeno Mini Pro has even arrived they have actually launched the new Xeno Mini SE version which is effectively a downscaled version of the Hubzan Mini Pro so yeah I just cannot believe what I'm seeing um, this is just absolutely crackers so on this video I'm going to take a very quick quick look because most of you by now I've not covered the uh, Mini Pro on this channel whatsoever I sort of concentrate on playing with the uh, Fimi X8 Mini which is surprisingly good for the money that you pay for it but the Xeno, the Hubsans are just quite a bit more in terms of cost anyway so what I want to do is just very quickly skim over the uh, the differences between the the Pro and the new SE and yeah I just, I just can't believe what I'm seeing guys um, what I will do is I will leave a link to the full specifications but like I said it's going to be a quick roundup and I want you guys to just let me know your thoughts given the fact that you know Hub said I've not even managed to start delivering out the Pro yet and yet they've launched and promised us a new model a sort of slimmed down version so let's look at the specifications then so as you can see the frame is exactly the same as the Hubsan Mini Pro Pro, except we obviously don't have the obstacle sensors you can see they're blanked out and it comes in a nice white color according to the illustration which is on screen so let's look at the key differences then first of all obviously I've just mentioned there is no obstacle avoidance and there is no built-in memory now I don't think many of you are going to be too worried about the lack of built-in memory simply because most of you are used to using drones with SD cards anyway. Yes, on the more expensive ones, you get a bit of an internal memory, but ultimately, you know, most of you are well versed in remembering your memory cards, or at least hopefully. So what else is new, or don't you get on this new slimmed down version? Well, you don't actually get as much range. Interestingly, the CE version, which obviously will be sold in Europe, has a range of six kilometers on the Pro and at six kilometers on the SE. Whereas the FCC, the Pro gets you 10 kilometers and the SE still only gets you that six. So that's a little bit of a strange one. It almost seems like it's been sort of limited on purpose. Not having to power the additional obstacle avoidance seems to give us slightly more hover time and slightly more flight time. Again, these are done at a set speed in windless conditions. So in the real world with some weather atmosphere and everything else, obviously it remains to be seen whether these can actually uh, deliver on the promise. Nobody's going to know it until we, actually <laughs> until we actually get one. But anyway, quite interesting. So let's talk about the camera then. We have a slightly difference uh, on the bit rate, basically half. So 200 down to 100, but that's still more than good enough to get you some nice smooth footage as well. Okay, we also have uh, a, a difference in the camera. So the SE is only a 12 megapixel camera and the Pro of course is saying it's going to be 48 megapixel, which obviously always good if it is delivering a true 48 megapixel camera. But yeah, again, all of this does remain to be seen. And of course you don't get any HDR as well on the SE. So yeah, but ultimately, looking at the SE and its price point as a whole, obviously you get a couple of batteries and you get a case, etc. Um, I think the you could almost see the SE in itself still with active track and still with that slightly longer battery life, and you know, um, it, it's live stream to YouTube and etc. etc. It seems to me like the SE more directly compares with the DJI Mini 2 or is sort of launched out there or potentially going to be launched out there to, to directly compete with the Mini 2, whereas the Pro version 
would probably be a higher price and deliver actually more than what the Mini 2 does and primarily would be a rival for the next incarnation of DJI, possibly the Mini 3. But ultimately guys, I just wanted to make you aware of this new <laughs> of this new Hubsan Mini SE version and uh, yeah, I'm sure DJI will be really happy with that <laughs> coming out with the exact same name as their recently launched drone and the specs don't look too bad and like I say, I'm not going to go into everything in more detail on this on this video I just wanted to make you aware of its existence and like I said, I'll leave a link to the uh, specification in the section below just let me know what you think so thank you very much for watching and see you again soon